Because the good people at Supermassive Games are huge horror nerds, they went out of their way to name each one of the game's trophies after a horror film. Some are obvious, some are obscure, all are super fun. So let's look at the list and check out which movies go with which trophies. Fatal Grudge. This refers to The Grudge, a Japanese horror film that spawned a franchise and an American remake. Let M In. This is a reference to Let Me In, a movie about a child vampire who befriends a young boy. It's a remake of a Swedish film that is also referenced in the trophy list. The Exorcism of Emily. This one is fun, because not only is the title a good description of what's going on in the scene, them trying to stop an evil spirit that might have been possessing Emily, but the plot of the film The Exorcism of Emily Rose is that a woman is killed by people who think she was possessed, and that matches the scene in the game surprisingly well. You Let the Wrong One In. This film, Let the Right One In, is the film that was remade as Let Me In. Ashley Snaps. Ginger Snaps was a Canadian werewolf movie about teenaged girls. It had two sequels, one of which was a remake of the first film set in frontier times. Don't Scare Jessica to Death. This is inspired by Let's Scare Jessica to Death, a deeply strange 1971 horror movie. Instant Inferno. This is a call out to Dario Argento's Inferno, which was a follow up to Suspiria. Scream 2 is an only slightly differently spelled version of the movie Scream 2's actual title, Scream 2 being the best Scream sequel, or Screamquel. The Psychopath references the Hitchcock film Psycho, which, along with Peeping Tom, kicked off the slasher genre. Four Daughters of Darkness. This refers to Daughters of Darkness, a British vampire movie. Night of the Totem Hunter. This is a modified Night of the Hunter, the Robert Mitchum starring masterpiece that can fairly be called the start of the modern horror genre. The Fateful Descent. Interestingly, Descent, the film referenced here, would go on to be one of the main inspirations for House of Ashes. The Quicker Man. In another example of Supermassive referencing the same movies more than once, this is a tribute to The Wicker Man, which, based on the logo design, might well serve as an inspiration for The Craven Man, an upcoming Dark Pictures game. The Skillful Wolfman. I'm guessing this is not a nod to the Benicio del Toro movie, but rather the 1941 Wolfman movie. The Tale of Two Sisters. Just like with Scream 2, A Tale of Two Sisters barely has its title altered at all. They All Live. This is John Carpenter's classic 80s film, They Live. And it is a delight not to be missed if you haven't seen it. This is the end. Finally, we get a trophy that didn't change the title of the movie at all. You Open to Their Eyes. This references Open Your Eyes, the Spanish film that inspired the Tom Cruise movie Vanilla Sky. A Symphony of Horror Trophies. Here they're calling out Nosferatu, a symphony of horror, one of the earliest and most famous vampire films. If there's one thing that this list demonstrates, it's that Supermassive Games has excellent taste in horror movies. Are you looking for more Supermassive Games content? If so, check out the Butterfly Effect podcast, a podcast focusing on interactive movies that I am not affiliated with in any way, shape, or form. In the run-up to the Quarry's release, they're doing a mini-series where they replay Until Dawn, where they talk about it one chapter at a time. Find a link to the podcast in the description below the video. I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. Special thanks go out to my patrons, Desire, Marissa, Eduardo, Brian, and Joanne. You can always find me at my live streams, weeknights at 9 Eastern and weekends at noon. We'll see you back here for more Supermassive Games content. But until then, au revoir.